The common buzzard is one of the most abundant and recognisable of all birds of prey found in the Northern Hemisphere, particularly here in Britain and Europe. It is a medium-sized raptor, but is comparatively much larger compared to some of the other raptors commonly seen here in Britain and Europe, such as the kestrel for example. A member of the bird of prey family known as buzzards, known as butios in Latin, it is most frequently observed in the wild soaring around in the air, with its large wings enabling it to do so almost effortlessly, hence why buzzards are referred to as broad wings in falconry terms. In the present day, common buzzards are the most abundant bird of prey found across most areas of the UK, with an estimated population of over 57 to 79,000 breeding pairs. This is mostly a resident species here in Britain, though individuals can travel great distances, particularly during the winter months. It has proven to be an especially adaptable species, and is one of the most widespread of all of the Butio family. A species sometimes confused with the common buzzard, especially in terms of appearance, is its North American contemporary, the red-tailed buzzard, or red-tailed hawk as it's known in North America. This American species of Butio, however, other than having a red set of tail feathers, is a noticeably larger and more powerfully built bird, though it has proven to be similarly adaptable in both rural and urban habitats. An interesting trait of common buzzards that can be observed across their range is the variability of their plumage coloration. Both adult and juvenile birds have a mostly brownish coloration, with numerous cream or white markings on their underside, with the intensity of these markings varying from individual to individual. Juvenile birds usually are comparatively more pale in coloration, especially on their underside, than the adults. The plumage on the dorsal side of these birds is usually much darker compared to the underside, and unlike the red-tailed buzzard, the common buzzard has no red on its tail feathers. Amongst some mature common buzzards, some individuals can be particularly dark in coloration, having a more distinctive dark brown on their underside, with very little cream markings, and some individuals can get even darker in coloration still, though this is rarer in this species. On the other hand, common buzzards can also be especially pale in coloration, with numerous individuals, including juveniles, appearing almost completely white. The physical proportions of these birds, along with a few distinct markings, indicate that it is still a common buzzard, though it is understandable how this can be confused with another species of broadwing. These pale morph common buzzards can look very much like another species that can be seen in the northern hemisphere, the rough-legged buzzard. This similar looking species shares the pale coloration throughout its plumage, and during the winter months, rough-legged buzzards do sometimes make it to Britain and Europe, especially juvenile birds on passage from areas such as Scandinavia and into Russia. However, the rough-legged buzzard is a slightly larger species compared to the average common buzzard, with proportionally longer wings and tail feathers. It can also be recognised from the distinctive dark markings on the underside of its wings, especially near the wrist area, along with the darker coloration of its torso contrasting the rest of its plumage as can be seen by this individual. It's pretty apparent that the common buzzard is perhaps the most variable of all birds of prey in terms of coloration, throughout both Britain and Eurasia combined highlighting the variable genetic diversity across individuals. One feature that common buzzards and indeed other species of Butio share, however, is the fact that they have brown eyes, which is completely different from the bright yellow or orange eyes as seen in true hawks or exhibitors, alongside species such as the osprey and honey buzzard. In Britain and across most of Europe, the common buzzard can be found across a range of different habitats, most frequently associated with living in the open countryside and farmland. They can also be found in woodlands, mountainous regions, as well as being frequently spotted flying over urban areas. As well as being often observed soaring in the air or perched in a tree, common buzzards are also quite vocal birds and can be frequently noticed by their distinctive mewing call. 
not to be confused, of course, with a different kind of mewing, if you know what I mean. It sounds something like this. As briefly touched on earlier, common buzzards are well known for their soaring flight. And during warm days in the summer when thermals are abundant, or during occasions where there is a strong wind, they can drift across the sky with absolute mastery, using their large broad wings to ride on updrafts and climb so high into the sky that they disappear into the clouds. During the spring, one of the more common behaviours observed in this species is known as sky dancing, where a bird will rise into the air at a steep angle before descending into a swift dive and then rising to repeat the process. During these territorial or courtship flights, as well as when a common buzzard is engaging in hunting behaviour, buzzards will often use the elevation they gain from soaring to plummet into a steep dive or stoop, closing their wings like a falcon. And while they don't usually go as fast as these birds, which are more specialised for speed, these buzzards, along with other members of the Butio family like them, can achieve speeds between 60 and 100 miles per hour on occasion. One of the main attributes of the common buzzard's success is its impressively variable diet, for they are known to both hunt and scavenge a wide range of different animal prey. The mainstay of the common buzzard's diet in the wild, at least here in Britain, is usually rabbits, where they predate both juvenile and adult individuals. They will also regularly hunt young hares or leverets, though fully grown brown hares are usually too large even for adult buzzards to tackle. In fact, a population decline in common buzzards here in the UK during the mid-20th century has largely been attributed to the decline in the populations of rabbits across Britain as the result of a severe outbreak of myxomatosis in the rabbit population. As well as hunting rabbits and young hares, buzzards also hunt a large amount of rodent prey, particularly voles, mice and brown rats, as well as the occasional shrew. On occasion, common buzzards have even been known to hunt both young and even adult grey squirrels, which are a feisty prey item to hunt to say the least, as they have a tough hide and can deliver a nasty bite in self-defence. Buzzards are also known to hunt a wide range of other bird species, where they will sometimes make sneak attacks on flocks of pigeons for example, or as shown in this image, game birds such as partridges. They also hunt a wide range of reptiles such as lizards and even grass snakes, as well as amphibians like frogs and toads. Even small invertebrates aren't off the table for this raptor, where they will eat large insects, and they are often observed standing in the middle of fields, hunting for earthworms, a food source that most birds of prey would understandably turn their nose up at. Buzzards are certainly more capable hunters than some would give them credit for, but they also feed of course heavily on carrion, a behavioural trait that they share with other members of the Butio family. As a typical raptor, buzzards of course do have strong gripping feet and sharp talons, which they use to seize and kill their prey. They do, however, alongside a few other Butio species, have relatively short, stout toes with a foot span that is somewhat less than you would expect for a bird of their size. Raptors that typically have short, stout feet and toes like this are usually better adapted for hunting mostly mammalian prey as their shorter, thicker toes enables them to better withstand the potential bites or scratches of defensive rodent quarry though the relatively reduced foot span of the common buzzard somewhat restricts its ability to tackle larger quarry. Some similar species, most notably the aforementioned red tail buzzard, have similar looking but comparatively larger and more powerful feet, said to have a grip strength of up to 250 pounds per square inch, which usually enables this raptor to tackle comparatively larger quarry. That being said, however, Common buzzards are still armed with especially sharp talons, and they can prove to be more effective and formidable hunters than their reputation would have some believe.
Along with being a surprisingly effective hunter as well as a scavenger, the common buzzard can at times be described as a pirate, or more specifically in scientific terms, a kleptoparasite, that is a species that steals food or prey from others. The common buzzard can be surprisingly bold and fierce in this regard, and they will contest for purchase on carrion alongside other species, such as red kites and corvids. They will also directly steal prey from other species of birds of prey and owls, with buzzards being observed numerous times snatching voles right out of the talons of barn and short-eared owls. They do compete for rodent prey with these smaller owl species, as well as the common kestrel. They will also fiercely engage other raptors more their own size, including, of course, each other. When conflicts over carrion or other prey do occur, most of the time these birds will try to avoid a serious fight. But every now and again, for whatever reason, conflicts can escalate, leading to potential injury. This is especially so during the harsher winter months in the Northern Hemisphere, where cold conditions combined with lack of prey can occasionally force some especially hungry and desperate birds to take increased risks. Like many other diurnal raptors, common buzzards are also pretty territorial, especially during the breeding season, where their home ranges can expand up to two square kilometres. Wild buzzards are sometimes observed harassing and mobbing other larger raptors on the wing, even larger eagles as you can see here, with some of these attacks being intense enough to force the eagle to do a roll manoeuvre and sometimes even being knocked out of the air. As mentioned previously, the common buzzard is a bold kleptoparasite and does sometimes face up to similar sized and formidable raptors such as the goshawk. In a potential broad wing versus short wing battle, both birds are comparable in size and weight, with the goshawk likely having a distinct agility advantage. But both birds are armed with especially strong feet and sharp talons, and in extreme cases, can seriously injure each other if they chose to grab one another in the vital areas. Despite its surprising tenacity and boldness, however, things don't always go the buzzard's way in these interspecies conflicts. Larger species of falcon, particularly the peregrine and lana falcons, are known to frequently engage in aggressive behaviour with wild common buzzards, most often for reasons linked to territoriality with the high-speed peregrine proving to be particularly dangerous. If the conflict was near to or on the ground, the advantage might shift towards the buzzard, but in an aerial duel, the advantage quickly shifts towards the much faster peregrine, which will use relentless high-speed attacks to drive away or even kill the interloping raptor. Some resident pairs of peregrines can prove to be especially aggressive, and during the breeding season will defensively stoop at any buzzard that flies too close to their eyrie, sometimes directly striking the buzzard out of the air, killing it on impact and sending it crashing to the ground as if it were prey. On rare occasions, peregrine falcons have been known to predate common buzzards, as well as other fellow raptors. Rather interestingly, one particular breeding peregrine falcon from Exeter was proven to be especially aggressive towards wild common buzzards, but the presence of red kites flying through her territory didn't seem to elicit the same sort of aggressive response, indicating she may have had a run-in with a common buzzard at a young age, cementing her distaste for these intruders in the future. Wild common buzzards on the wing are very often seen being harassed by flocks of corvids, whether they are crows, rooks or jackdaws. These highly intelligent and social birds are working together to mob the larger raptor, to drive it out of their territory and to prevent a potential ambush attack from the hunter itself. Common buzzards are potential predators of corvids like these, especially towards their young, whether they are in the nest or barely able to fly, so these birds do have a pretty valid reason to act in this way towards these opportunistic predators. Common buzzards typically nest high up in mature trees, creating large nests made out of twigs, sticks and other vegetation. 
The eggs, which are usually pale in colour with minimal brown spots, are laid in two to three day intervals. And the clutch size is usually around two or three, but they can have as many as six. The eggs are usually incubated for around 34 days, after which it will take the chicks between 40 and 60 days on average to fledge or fly from the nest. Research into common buzzards linked to radio tracking has revealed that unlike some other birds of prey, juvenile common buzzards tend to disperse out of their parents' territory more as a result of independence rather than being directly exiled by their parents, and they are usually tolerated remaining in their parents' territory until the time comes to raise another brood. Research has also shown that generally speaking, Common buzzard siblings stay quite close to each other after dispersal from their parents, making them slightly more social in a way compared to some other raptors. Like most other raptor species of a similar size, the young are typically sexually mature between one and two years of age, after which they may set up territories of their own. The common buzzard is a species that has been used in falconry for many years, particularly here in the UK of course, as well as parts of mainland Europe. This species has, however, fallen out of popularity in recent years, ever since the popularity of Harris hawks and red tails began to increase. The trainability of the common buzzard, and indeed most other larger bootios, is comparable to that of the red-tailed buzzard, one of the more popular broad wings used in falconry nowadays. For many years, the common buzzard was the default beginner's bird used in falconry, as along with the easier availability of this species at the time, its comparatively larger size makes weight management comparatively easy compared to smaller species like the kestrel, for example. The common buzzard, however, has had a reputation, especially amongst falconers, as not being among the best hunting birds. They have been described as being somewhat lazy or even sluggish, at least in response to game, compared to some other species, though this relates to the buzzard's lifestyle of a hunter that often likes to sit and wait for prey to come to them, along with the buzzard's ability to slow their metabolism down in times of need, which can make weight management slightly challenging at times with bootios like these. While the foot span of the common buzzard and its ability to therefore take larger quarry isn't quite as impressive as species like the red-tailed buzzard or Harris hawk, in the right conditions they can prove to catch prey relatively well, especially rabbits and even the occasional game bird. The comparatively reduced prey drive of the common buzzard compared to these other raptors can also prove to be quite effective, especially in a non-hunting display setting, where they are less likely to get distracted by and potentially go AWOL as a result of them attempting to capture wild prey when not necessary, which can make them in the right conditions relatively safe and fun birds to fly in this manner. As explained in detail throughout this video, the common buzzard is, despite its abundance, quite the underrated and impressive raptor, capable of giving even other birds of prey a run for their money in certain measures. A very adaptable and widespread species, it certainly has quite the interesting life history and ecology, and remains one of the more impressive natural sights to be witnessed across the British countryside.